what it do, y'all. It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you again, man. Hey. <clears throat> Draft is coming up. We already went through free agency or the lack thereof that when it comes to Dallas Cowboys. I know right now a lot of fans are still in disbelief on why the Cowboys are not doing anything, why they haven't done much. Um, some people are still sad about the the Green Bay loss. I mean, that, that tore all of us apart. That tore the whole fan base apart. That Prescott got all the blame. It just it seems like, right? Oh, first of all, before I get started, let me not be rude. Happy Easter. Happy Resurrection Day to everybody. Um, on my way to church now, got got a little man in the car with me. So, I'm about to head on out. I'm about to head on out. Um, it's real quick. Dak Prescott and this deal. We know the Jones family wants to sign him. We don't know what the situation right now is as far as when he's going to get signed or if they're going to let him go the whole year and hit free agency. But that would be a bad idea. And the reason why I say it is because finding a franchise quarterback, no matter how you feel about Dak Prescott, whether you think he sucks or whether you think he doesn't deserve to be the franchise quarterback of this team, but he has proven that he's an all-pro. He has proven that he's a top-10 quarterback in the league. He has proven it many times. I know what the haters are going to say. Oh, well, we still haven't got to a bowl. Well, we didn't get one with Tony either. So, I mean, it is what it is. A lot of that has to do with the way our, our organization is set up. We have an organizational issue, not a player issue. I'm going to say that one more time for the people in the back. We have an organization issue, not a player issue. So, of course, as the leader of the football team, as the quarterback of the team with the star on your helmet, you're going to get the blame. You're going to get it. We wasted Tony Romo years on having a lame duck coach like Jason Garrett. And now you've got a good coach in Mike McCarthy, and you're not giving him the tools that he needs. You let a lot of players go in free agency. I'm not saying that you need to retain everybody, but you let good pieces go. Some of these people that left went to go to other teams on contracts that you can afford. The whole narrative of the Cowboys being in cap hell is crazy to me because the Eagles are always in cap hell and they find out how to do something. They figure it out. How come other teams can figure out their cap space but we can't? I've said this before on the live stream with DMV. Shout out to my boy DMV. We have wasted time, effort, and all that because of this Jones family, the way that they run it, they're a business-minded organization. We know that football is a business, too. There's a business side of football, but the Jones family forgets the football side of the business. And my thing is, yes, they're great businessmen. I give them that. They know how to make money. They know how to make a dollar, but my thing is this. If you're not going to do the right thing by the fans and the football team. You say you're all in, but you're not all in because you're not doing the things that would, would get you that Super Bowl or to that point. They haven't done that. So because of that, we're going to be in the same situation. We might be a good team for years to come. We might get 10 wins, 12 wins, go to the playoffs, but we're always going to fall short because they're not getting us over that hump. I think bringing in kind of tough nose type of coaches. I know Mike McCarthy, I'm good with him being the offense, the, the, the leader, the, the head coach. But I'm talking about defensive coordinator. Nothing against Dan Quinn. I love Dan Quinn. But Dan Quinn was the brother coach, right? He was the friendly coach. He was the coach that, like, you don't he, he don't seem like a coach that would tell a good player, oh, you're playing like crap. He's the bro coach. I need, a, I need a coach like, and I think Zimmer is that. Zimmer is that type of coach. So that's why I wanted Zimmer to be the defensive coordinator because he's not going to coddle you. He's not going to baby you. If you're doing wrong, he's going to check you. If you're being lazy, sorry, I got a stuffed up nose. If you're being lazy, he's going to check you. That's what I love about what we have with Zimmer. Now, going forward with Dak Prescott, um, they're going to have to figure something out. They're going to have to, you're going to have to, either extend this contract or, or figure something out because you're going to have to pay him regardless. 
franchise players get paid. No matter how sucky or good you think they are, they're the leaders of your team. You don't want to be like those years between Aikman and Romo that we didn't have quarterbacks. Y'all remember Quincy Carter? Y'all remember Ryan Leaf? Y'all remember Vincent Testaverde? Y'all remember uh, Brandon Whedon? Y'all remember uh, Matt Castle? Y'all remember that? Y'all remember all them players? Y'all remember Stephen McGee? Goddamn Stephen McGee. You, you, you remember that? Hey, he fell asleep. You remember all them players? Do you remember all those players at quarterback that we had? And I know there's something that I miss on purpose. Oh, Kyle Orton, which had an issue with Tony Romo when he was here for that brief stint. Like, come on, bro. We, we, we've we gone through some quarterbacks between that Aikman and Tony Romo era. If you get rid of Tony, I mean, that, again, it's hard to find a franchise quarterback. We lucked up on Tony. We lucked up on Dak. You might not luck up again on another one. Everybody say, oh, what about Trey Lance? Well, we don't know what Trey Lance can do. We'll see what he can do in preseason. I think that he would do good in this in this maybe West Coast offense. But on the back end of that, the 49ers run the same type of offense. And he couldn't fare well there. I mean, he got beat out by Sam Darnold. Mr. Mononucleosis. So, I don't know. I just... A lot of it, we talked about this on our live stream on Friday. A lot of it is unknown. We don't know. We really don't know. But all I know is, I would rather have Dak than anything. Because Dak has proven that he can win games. Yes, he's had, he's played good in playoffs. He's played bad in playoffs. But, but also those, those games in the playoffs that he did play bad, the defense didn't help either. So... I think that if you get you got Mike Zimmer in here now, you got a tough nosed guy. I think that he can get these whip these guys up into shape as far as not being lazy or lackluster. If you can control that and giving Dak a good running game and offensive line with what the pieces that we already have, I think we'll be fine. I really do. That's how I feel about that. And I'll elaborate more on that when we get into the live stream. But um but yeah, let's see what we do in the draft. Trey Benson. Uh, looks like they can get maybe Jonathan Brooks in the second round as far as running backs. We'll see. Um, I do want Jackson Powers Johnson in the first round because you need a center. Period. I like I like um, kicking Tyler Smith out at uh, left tackle. And, you know, figuring out what we're going to do with guard. Either draft one or put T.J. Bass right there. I think that'll be fine. If you if you if you drive powers in the center. Now, as far as the running back free agency goes, there's talk about Zeke coming back. I know some fans are up in the air about it. Some fans don't want it. They think he's washed. I just want Zeke back because he knows the team. He knows how to pass protect. His pass pro is amazing. He can protect Dak like I don't know what. Like so. I love that. Block for Dak. Get tough yardage and be that goal line back. That's all I that's what you need him for. Get him back on the venture minimum because you're still paying him anyway. That six million that, that was over the cap. You're still paying him anyway, even though he's not on the team. So you might as well bring him back and even that money out that you're paying him. It only makes sense. That doesn't mean you can't go on a draft. You can still go on a draft and get a, a Jonathan Brooks or or Trey, um, uh, uh, t- uh, Trey Benson. You can get Benson if he's there in the second round. But that's what I'm looking at. Y'all let me know what y'all think, but that's where I'm at with that. I just think that they just need to cross their T's and dot their I's. I think they'll be fine. We already had a good base. I know we lost some talent. But you got to fill those spaces back up. You got to get that depth back in defensive tackle. You got to figure that offensive line out. And then if you do what I'm saying with running back, we'll be fine because then Dak will have the protection that he needs and he can get that ball off. 
uh, when he needs it, and he can dump the ball off in the running back in the, in the running game, and we can get some um, make some hay in the running game. Because when your running game is working, it's gonna make your pass game work. But just let me know what you, you guys think in the comment section. That's all I got for right now. I don't want to make the video too long. Um, again, happy Easter, happy Resurrection Day with y'all. Um, hope y'all enjoy y'all Sunday. Peace out.